Hello everyone, welcome to a brand new gameplay, episode 3, uh, Castle Launching and Shocking Comeback is going to be the title, as is the activity, uh, which we've got on right now, uh, Shocking Comeback, which is basically dealing with Shocker, um, and I've my, mic, my camera's in the wrong position, meant, um, there's also a side mission storming the castle so we're gonna head into that first it says about 15 minutes so we'll start off with that and then we'll go into whatever else we've got going on oh if you have watched the previous episodes uh, welcome back if you haven't um, go check out the playlist link it's in the description bar down below and also give the channel a, th a like and uh, subscribe cheers <laughs> <clears throat> oh, by the way, I recently saw an international trailer for. Nighttime bird watching. Oh, hello. Thanks for the heads up, Miss. Uh... Thanks for the assist, Stephanie. Why would armed men be in Belvedere Castle? Got a hunch they're not tourists. Does sound a bit weird. Why would I remember be at a castle? Woohoo! That doesn't make sense. Why would our men be at a castle? Fisk's men. This isn't good. Oh. That did not go according to plan. Nobody's dumb enough to try something. No, you're dumb enough to even try it. Sleep it off, big guy. Gotta find a new podcast. And Who's there? night night. Going down. That's all. Let's find out what they were up. Right. What exactly are these guys after? This doesn't actually make sense. What would they be looking for? Oh, hello. I'm not sure what's, what's going, going on here. Wonder if there's any info I can get from this. Not exactly. Stephanie, a bird just stole a flash drive full of evidence. Maybe a <laughs> pigeon. Is that normal? It is nesting season, so I'm not surprised. You know, I think there's a nest in the trees just southeast of the castle. Great, I'll, I'll check, check it out. out. Why would a pigeon steal a flash drive? Who's got buddies? Great. Come back with that flash drive, you dirty sky rat! I'm positive reinforcement. Pigeons are actually remarkably intelligent. Remarkably intelligent, huh? Uh, hey, pigeons! Sorry about the dirty sky rats thing. Maybe we can make a deal? Whatever fish is saying you in bird seed, I'll double it! <laughs> bird seed. Doesn't have a drive. 
drive. Great. So I'm peeking chasing. Since when was it my job to be chasing damn pigeons? Oh, that's gone well. Um, I lost the pigeon with the drive. Sound. Right, let's try that again. Stephanie, a bird just stole a flash drive full of evidence. Maybe a pigeon. Is that normal? It is nesting season, so I'm not surprised. You know, I think there's a nest in the trees just southeast of the castle. Great, I'll, I'll check, check it out. He's got buddies. Great. Come back with that flash drive, you dirty sky rats! Try positive reinforcement. You know, pigeons are actually remarkably intelligent. Remarkably intelligent, huh? Uh, hey, pigeons! Sorry about the dirty sky rats thing. Maybe we can make a deal? Whatever Fisk is paying you in birdseed, I'll double it! Ah, bugger. Got ya. No, no, Spidey, wrong way, wrong way, wrong way, oh my god. Where these guys are leading me on the goddamn merry chase. Pigeons, come back with my bloody flash drive.
Yeah, hi, can't stop, I'm chasing pigeons, which is something I never thought I'd be saying. Come on. Come on. Oh yeah, bloody stupid bridge. Pigeons, where have you gone? Back on the trail. Oh, damn it, just wouldn't happen. This is it. I got the drop. Back to the laptop. This is my fifth Oh, that took an ace and an hour to get a bloody drive. And whilst I'm on the subject. I'm going to actually charge my controller because it's slightly going down on power. Woohoo! There we go, right. Technical difficulties. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Right, where are we going? There we go. Right, let's see what all this is about. Looks like they were uploading a worm to the Central Park Wi-Fi system. Uh-oh. This could give them backdoor access to a ton of personal data. To That's think not exactly what you want. Work. Wait, it's still uploading remotely. There must be multiple access points. Stephanie, you're my eyes in the sky. See anything else strange in the park? Uh, I see a pair of horned owls and... Oh, more guys at a nearby junction box. Thanks. Keep a look out for anything else. I need to get to that junction box before the upload completes. Right, come on guys, come on, come on. If they can't access the laptop, they can't- BOSH! Show me what you've got! Bring your battle right up! Get down here! Yeah, got it! Get 
Come on, come on, come on. There they are. I need to keep them away from that box. It's on now. Hey, I got Spider-Man. I'll get him for you. Like it. Nice out. Bosh. And up we go. I've got a minute and 22 seconds to get there. Oh, you absolute git! Don't do that twice. Get it off. Whew. There. That's a relief. Got that done. You can rest easy knowing that their passwords and cat videos are safe. <laughs> cat videos. I think they might have seen me. Oh no. Are you sure? I'm uh, pretty sure. Armed men just arrived. Lock the roof entrance and hold tight. I'm on my way. Right, where is she? get to Stephanie before Fisk's men do. She wouldn't be involved if it weren't for me. They're trying to break down the door. We know you're working with the spiders. Open up! Nearly there. Come on. Come on, nearly there. Jailbirds, <laughs> love it. Right, now that I've done that, let's go check on Kingpin. Woo. Oh, that was mighty close to that car. Shocker is out of the chat. I love it now. I understand we have another low information caller who thinks we're better off thanks to Spider Man. Let's see if 
Like Come on, Jameson. Girl. Jesus, give me a break. I just want to say that I've never seen Manhattan so safe and peaceful. Compare what it was like when Spider-Man first showed up to now. Okay, fair enough. I will. Then, we had police and firefighters doing a wonderful job. There was crime, sure, but nothing they couldn't handle. Of course, we do have things now we didn't have then. Maniacs who shoot electricity out of their eyes. Walking piles of sand. Nazis made of bees! Hey? Spider-Man put all those guys in jail. You're missing the point! They didn't exist before he came along. At best, he attracts them. But I've often wondered if they're in cahoots. Wow. I've never actually heard anyone say cahoots before. Look, all I'm saying is, I hate to imagine what would have happened if all those guys showed up and Spider-Man wasn't here. Another lost cause. Got one. So it's another tower de scrambled. Right, I'm going to see now where. Is it? It's like a fast travel somewhere. Obviously not, okay. Lights out, big boy. Wallop. Lights out, big boy. Well, that's pretty easy. Where have you come from? Stay down. Drugs are maybe my most disliked criminal activity. Definitely top five. Or bottom five. However, that works. Gotta split before the cops get here. Never know how they'll react to me. Right. Let's go find Shock. That was so easy. I mean, come on, guys. We'll sit with that for a while. Thank you. They were going to kill me. Yeah, you're fine now. Right, where am I going? I'm eventually going to find Shocker.
my question is, why suck her out of prison? Doesn't make any sense. Steam there. Why is he broken out of prison? really pissed me off. Okay, now that's really riled me up. He's getting away. Come on, I mean, get your ass back here. Can't lose him. Where are you, Spidey? Where were you going? Seriously. them again. Come on. Honestly, Herman, why are you robbing again? You know the police are watching your every move. I mean, we all know you're kind of dumb, but I didn't think you were this dumb. You must be desperate, which means you're not just stealing for yourself. You must be working with someone, or for someone. You can tell me who it is now, or make me punch it out of you later. Your choice. Move, move, move. 
Come on. Come on, Shocker, get your ass back here now. Gotta hurry. Stay there. You know what, Herman? You have like zero personality, but your suit is awesome. Can we talk design details? Maybe later. I'm sorry? Good work, Spider Man. Did you learn anything about his motive? I tried, but he's not very talkative. Plus, I think he hates me. You have that effect on a lot of people. <laughs> but you love me, right, Yuri? I tolerate you. Wow, that might be the nicest thing you've ever said to me. <laughs> it looks like I got some free time. Maybe now's a good time to look into that mask. Oh, mm. it's MJ. <clears throat> hey, MJ, you're up late. Just catching up on the news. Looks like you had quite an adventure with Shocker tonight. Yeah, he was unusually combative. Mm, it was anyway, shocking. <laughs> Stop, guys. <laughs> Yeah, I'm actually on my way to the Feast Center now to ask Martin Lee about it. Martin Lee? Why? He has a degree in art history. If anyone knows about the origins of that mask, he will. Just keep me in the loop. Like I said, I think there's a bigger story here, and I plan to be the one to break it. Uh, sure. So I can call you, like, whenever? Yeah, whenever, whatever. So I guess we're talking again. <laughs> cool. Bagel and a coffee, mint. Mr. Lee's usually in his office now. Yeah, I want to find out what this mask's all about. It doesn't make any sense. Read me 
the ghost story with that mask and cinema when I was young. Scared the hell out of me. Peter, listen. That mask, it's... It could be connected to dangerous people. Mary Jane might want to find a different story. Do you think she's in trouble? I don't know. Why take the risk? The mask means demon. It really spooked Mr. Lee. Never seen him like that. He even said you should drop the story. Fat chance. Do you think Mr. Lee knows more than he's letting on? No, I think he just had a weird flashback or something. I know his childhood was pretty traumatic. Yeah, that makes sense. Demons, huh? Catchy name. Okay, gotta get right. See you soon. Well, that went about as well as I could have hoped. Okie doke, now I'm where am I going? Whoa, hey, what's going on there? Veteran homelessness is down, but still way too high. Good thing my buddy Flash Thompson's doing his best to fix that. You know, the business community's really stepped up. Both job training and hiring. Well, most Flash. Oh yeah, Flash from school, high school. Complete. Got some time to kill before Doc needs me at the lab. Let's do a little fighting work out in the city. What I want to figure out is where the next tower is I can actually unload. Well, not unload, but. What's a side mission? Spider-Man PI, what? Oh well, no time like the present. <clears throat> Say night night. Hello? Peter, you Dr. Octavius. Oh, hey, what's up? Lance Corporal Texador is here for a fitting. I totally forgot. I mean, I'm careful with forgetting that I just published. I'll be there soon. This tardiness is starting to become a pattern. Come on, Parker. You're better than this. That's right. How did I lose track of time?
Right, let's get back to this lab quick and sharpish. Sorry, Doc. Gotta deal with this guy first. That's not nice, guys. Oops. Oh, not going well. Oh, you are really starting to get on my wit now, mate. Let's get back to the lab. Work, just like an intro alarm. You 
think of what you wanted to do and Yes. <laughs> hey. Hey. What do you think you're doing? This site's been declared a safety hazard. Stop that right now! This is highly sensitive equipment. That's it. I'm calling the mayor's office directly. Peter Parker, how the hell are you? Speak of the devil. Mr. Osborne. Oh, please. How long have we known each other? It's Mr. Mayor. <laughs> it's Norman. Norman! Norman, what do you think you're doing? The grant agreement you signed has strict safety provisions. This isn't your first violation. Those were excused. By me. We should have confiscated this equipment long ago. But... But I've had a breakthrough. <laughs> Thank you for your great service to our country. These folks will escort you to Oscorp Robotics, where you'll receive the latest in prosthetics. No charge. This isn't about safety infractions, is it? I'm trying to help you, Otto. You're free to continue your work in a secure environment at Oscorp. You always were the smartest guy in the room. You haven't changed a bit. Neither of you. Hey, Peter. Harry will be coming back from Europe early next year. Maybe the two of you can start that business you always talked about. This is opportunity knocking. <laughs> Easy, easy, easy. They, they didn't take everything. Maybe we could start over. Peter, there's no we. Without the grant from the city, I can no longer pay you. I need some time to think. If I were you, I'd look for a new job. Well, that went down well. Shit. I wish I could do something to help Doc. Maybe call Harry. Ask him to talk to his dad. No. Norman never listens to Harry. He even tried to kill funding for his research stations. Hey, one of those stations is nearby. You should see how they're doing while Harry's in Europe. Only he's not in Europe. Some way to help Doc. I'll think of something. So, with that in mind, peeps, um, it is the end of episode three. Um, I would have recorded it last night, but I was actually exhausted. Nah, not this time. Um, so, as I was saying, end of episode three. Um, thanks for tuning in. Going to get this recorded and get this out by the end of today. Jameson, shut up, my friend. So, yeah, as I was saying, um, I will get this out today and I will get on doing a third episode, a fourth episode tomorrow. Um, thanks for tuning in and I will see you all in the next one and keep an eye on the socials for updates. Till then, I've been Cosplay Game 9 7 and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.